Welcome back guys, Stas23 here, back again with some knife therapy. Uh, I had a fellow YouTuber, DubGlock23, ask me to see my flippers, and I really didn't feel like pulling them all out, so I picked my top 10 over $100 and my top 10 under $100. So I'll get started with the top 10 over $100. And I'm, I'm going in, um, you know, the best in my eyes to you know on down start off with the browse blades vr 71 this thing has phenomenal action this thing got recall and it super super smooth i mean uh, i don't know if it if it comes through on camera but i mean that sucker comes out so hard so fast and i think this one i got it in black friday sale for like 125 bucks d2 steel g10 stainless construction liners uh, g10 backspacer on bearings that's the browse blades vr 71 I'll leave that one up there for a second then i would have to go to the zt 0900 the less jar design titanium frame lock this thing, the detent is just dialed in to where it rockets out. They call it a pocket rocket for a reason. And I checked out a few of them. They all have a dialed in detent. And I mean, it's a little stronger than uh, their normal detents. But that sucker comes out hard. That's the ZT-0900. I'd say that's the number two. This one is a real close second to number two. This is the Wee Nice. I think it's the 605. I love the sound of this detent. It rockets out, and I love the sound it makes when it closes. Let's see if I can get it through camera. It has a nice pop. Great detent on this thing. Another one that just rockets out. These two definitely have some kick. This one, I think, because of the longer blade, it has more of a thwack. But these two, for the smaller blades, their detent's dialed in. This one's on ceramic bearing, ceramic detent. This one's on just regular stainless, I think. So they're both super smooth. I don't think I can really tell the difference. And I don't think this one's on ceramic either, and it's super fast. All right, so let's get these out of the way. This is my top three. I'll try to pull them all in at the end. Uh, next would have to be another ZT. This is the ZT 0500 CF and ZDP 189 in carbon fiber. That sucker rockets out super smooth. Almost bit me just now. Uh, this one, I love this knife. It, it, it fits perfect in my hands. If you had large hands, it might not fit that great in your hands. It's a beautiful blade. This was a sprint run. Uh, ZDP is an awesome steel. Uh, and look at that. Super smooth. Nice snappy action. The detent is uh, mild on this one. It's not going to come shaking out, but it still rockets out there. That's the ZT-0500. Leave that one up here. Next, I would have to go to my only safe queen in the collection. This beauty. This is the Field Marshal by uh, Todd Bag Knives. Uh, it's their Steelcraft series, I think, produced by Riot Knives. Uh, it's got the Thor Damascus blade. That sucker thwacks out. That's a big old blade. Um... This one's riding on the ceramic bearing, ceramic detent. This is ceramic IKBS, so really has a nice smooth action. Um, it's it's nice and smooth. It kind of feels like they may have grease in there. I haven't taken this one down. I ha I'm kind of scared to, but I think uh, it could it could definitely have a better action with some better grease in there. All these other ones are running my my own um, lube of choice. And this one's factory. So this one's really smooth. And the second one is in the same series, same company, same same designer. This is the Mini Bodega by Todd Begg. I think produced by Riot in the Steelcraft series. So you see Todd Begg's logo, Steelcraft series. This is running on uh, ceramic bearing, ceramic detent, just like this one. This one has a nice action. The blade on this one is rather, you know, it's not a huge chunky blade and it's not too long. So it's rather light. So you can see it drops free. Detent's pretty good on it. It's not, it doesn't rock it out, but it's a good, good, 
good, nice uh, flipper. All right, we'll take these three out of the way. Now I got four left on the higher end. Let's see, the next one has got some controversy behind it, but this is the Gail Bradley Advocate. Mine, you know, the, the, the race washers could be crumpled up in there, I don't know, but that thing fires out. It actually fires out probably better than the two Steelcraft series, but I'm not sure. I think it's because it has a more lock bar pressure, creating more detent pressure. And that sucker rockets out. You know, all these I can do both-handed, disengage both-handed. This one is, it free drops, but it hits me right there. I could do it. You know, I, I like multiple deployments to where I can use the thumb stud. I mean, the thumb hole or the, the flipper tab. I know some people just like their flippers. This is a good one right here. Hopefully, they whenever they revamp this one, it comes back out. Uh, this is one of my favorite Spyderco designs, one of them. Next would be my sigil by Microtech and uh, Derek Moreau design. Love, this is definitely my favorite finish on any of my knives. Such a nice rustic finish. Uh, and I, this is probably one of my favorite flipper tabs. See how it sits right there? Perfect. I mean, when you set your finger up there, you just basically, there's no thinking about it. You know exactly how you're going to flip it. That one flips out nice. I'm not sure if this one's on ceramic or not. Let's see. I don't know if I can. I can't really tell or not. I should have did my homework. But this is a good flipper. It rockets out there. All these are, are you know, it's, it's hard to distinguish between, you know, besides those top three. These all on the bottom, the bottom six or bottom seven. They all flip, you know, comparable. Next would be my Kaiser Guru by Matt Dagnan. Let's see if I can get the focus. Yeah, Matt Dagnan. This is on ceramic bearing, ceramic detent. Um, nice flipper. Got a nice detent to it. This is a, it's, it's not a super, super strong flipper, but it's a nice one. It's nice and smooth, no doubt. This is probably, this is one of my, and you most use EDC blades as of late. All right, let's get the last one in on the over $100 would be the Kaiser uh, Zugang, I think this one's called. Let's see if it has a name on it. Or that might be the designer. Zugang, I don't know if that's the designer or the name. I think it's the name. This one's on ceramic bearings and ceramic detent also. This one has a drop shut action. Uh, sorry, sorry about my sinuses. Um, another knife, nice flipper. Um, it can be open both ways. You can use a thumb stud or you can use that both ways. It's both smooth. The detent is uh, mild on this one. It can be shaken out. I'm not going to do it right here because I'll probably smack my table. But there you go. Let's see if I can get these all in frame. I doubt it. But let's see my top three. Be these three. One, two, three. Let's see. Then I would go here. Uh, the two steel craft. And let's see. This one. And there you go. That's my top 10 over $100. There's a quick shot of them. If you want to see any separate videos of any of those, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to. I plan on doing videos on any of the ones I haven't already done videos on. So if you want to see one before another, just let me know. Now this is the my top 10 below $100. I'm going to try to go from the highest price tag on down. This is the first that uh, will go to, this one's around the $80 marker. Great flipper, titanium frame lock, D2 steel, Carter Prime by uh, uh, OKC, Ontario Knife Company. This one has amazing action. It's got the like IKBS style bearings. I don't know if it's licensed through them or not, so I'm not too sure about that, but I know it does have the free floating bearings. 
This thing, I've never done anything to it. It just rockets out. Fun flipper, not the most comfortable knife in the world, not the worst. Uh, for me, this back, this back point right there kind of digs into my hand. But I'll save that for review if I do one on this one. So that would be my number one uh, on the lower end of the spectrum under $100. Let's see. The next one would be the Buck Marksman. This is a great flipper. Um, due to my, my messed up hands, this jimping right here kind of hurts my fingers to close it. And this jimping hurts my finger to use it. I mean, that's just me. You know, that's probably not your everyday person. Probably wouldn't bother him. But, but I mean, definitely has super free action. Let's see if I can show that. I'm not going to show it, of course. But look at that. Like, I mean, it, it, whoop. it has, you know, the only, only time it has any kind of resistance is whenever it catches that lock bar right there. And, I mean, great knife for the money. I think this one's like 79 bucks. They got an exclusive of this one that I wanted to pick up, but I hadn't pulled the trigger on that one yet. And next, we'll go to this one. I think I got it on sale, thirty bucks at a, on a Black Friday. I think it normally sixty dollars. This is the Kaiser Vanguard series. Uh, I think it's the VG10 Steel Bad Dog by Matt Cucciara. This one flips very, very nice. Super smooth. I think it's on just regular bearings. I'm not sure. But, I mean, that sucker rockets out. It's a small knife, but I could get a four-finger grip on it. Uh, I don't really, uh, nothing really compared to. But this one, like I said, we'll say $60 because it's about around about the price tag on that. Uh, let's see. Now, this one's a hit or miss because some people, this is the Jettison, the small compact Jettison by CRKT. Some people's detents weren't that great. It's running on Teflon washers, but mine was dialed in just right. So you got to, you know, you kind of take your chances getting this one. But I enjoy this one. It's a nice little keychain carry knife. Detents dialed in perfect on mine. Rockets out there every time, especially the way I got to hold it. And I just pop it out. CRKT Jettison. Next, uh, I think I picked this one up from Walmart. Excellent flipper on IKBS bearings. This is the uh, Flavio Acoma Fossil by CRKT. This thing rockets out. It's got a lot of heft to that blade. So it, you know, it uses that to its advantage. You can use both methods, which I like a lot. But that thing just rockets out there. It's definitely one fun to play with. Comfortable. Um, only thing that's not super comfortable, but they did do some chamfering right there, is disengaging that thin lock bar. Anytime it's thin, it, it's kind of aggravating to my hands. But like I said, my hands aren't like everybody else's. So that's the CRKT Fossil. This is the bigger version, bigger one. I think I got it for 45 bucks. Um, the next... Let's see, would be, I think, the Kershaw Skyline. Now, this is another one. I've had many of these knives. I think I've had in the upwards of probably 10 or so of these and usually sell them off. And this one's the best action detent I've had thus far um, out, of all, out of all my knives. The, I mean, out of all the Skylines that I've gotten, uh, the detent's dialed in very nice. I've, I've, I put my my lube in there so it's super super smooth it's not a free dropper or anything but it has a good action on it detent styled in so that's this the uh kershaw skyline i think i think you get it for like 45 bucks next would be my crkt um uh, uh let's see i think it's the tie tack 2 drop point they have an atanto Form two, super smooth button lock. I mean, look at that. It's on bearings. Very nice budget offering. Uh, it's got the G, it's got the the glass reinforced nylon handles. Eight CR thirteen MOV. I probably didn't mention the other ones, but pretty much I could go through them at the end. Very smooth. This one's a fun to play with. Button locks usually are pretty smooth, and it's not hard to disengage this button lock like some of them are. That's the tie tack two drop point CRKT. Next, 
This one, I'm not sure. I think it's discontinued, but talk about a great flipper. This is the Kershaw OD2. I uh, love It's got a unique uh, mechanism right there. That mechanism disappears because it's, it's as you can see, it's just part. It's like, a, it's like a, a, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's like a kick plate or something. You, that thing fires out and fires out every time. I don't think, let's see. You can't, I don't even think you can misfire it, at least on that on mine. Let's see if I can misfire it. No. I mean, you pull that thing back, it's coming out. Very small little knife. You can see it with the jettison. It's it's about the same size as the jettison, but it's a super fun knife to play with. Um, it's a Lee Williams design, I think. Let's see. 8CR 13 MOV, Lee Williams design. Uh, like I said, I think this one's discontinued, not 100%. I think I picked mine up at Lowe's. They were selling them a while back. Super fun, super nice little, little. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. Next two are assisted, but, you know, this is my budget line. Um, this is the Kershaw Pico. I think I did a, a first impressions on this. I really like this, this little blade. I think I paid... Uh, I think I got it on sale. I think JT's knife, knife life or something like that on on here. He gave me the heads up. Um, they were selling these on Amazon for like, I think it was like fifteen bucks. So I jumped on it. I've always liked Les George designs. That's I think that's the designer. Let's see. Yeah, Les George design HCR. It's got an attractive uh, drop point. I guess you'd call it. Uh, very comfortable in hand, you know, just a nice blade, very thin behind the edge, a nice hollow grind. I like this one, especially for the $15 price point, or I think in that price range, you can't beat this one. That's a great one. And the last is another assisted and was in my my last video on my um, keychain knives. This is the Kershaw Ember. Uh, this is a hinder design. Uh, HCR 13 MOV, great little bitty, little bitty pocket chunker, pocket rocket, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is assisted. It comes out with authority, locks up nice, really lightweight, deep carry pocket clip. Something I throw into my coin pocket, or just drop it in the pocket. Not gonna clip this one on, but very, you know, this one's not gonna scare anybody. I mean, in your hand, it looks like you know, little bitty tiny, little nothing. So let's try to. Try to get the budget blades out on the table. See if I can fit them on. This is my number one in the budget budget line. That's the um, OKC Park Carter Prime Buck Marksman. Uh, let's see from there. We have the Fossil by CRKT. Um, it's got the Skyline. By Kershaw, Tie Tac 2 by CRKT, um, the Bad Dog, Kaiser Bad Dog in the Vanguard series, um, Kershaw, Pico, I don't know if I said that before, uh, Kershaw Ember, Kershaw OD2, I think it is, and the CRKT Jettison Compact. Real quick, I don't know if I went through all the steals. 8CR, 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 VG10, 8CR, 14C, 28N, Sandvik Steel, 8CR, 154CM, D2. There you go, Dub Glock. I hope that helped. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if y'all want to see any reviews on any of these, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, I, I can do reviews on any of them that I haven't already done before. Uh, I'll try to show maybe more of the flipper collection at uh, another point. I didn't want to make this an hour long video. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share. If you like my videos in general, please subscribe. And, you know, just leave me a comment down below. I love talking to you guys. This is what I do for my fun. So, like I said, hope everybody's having a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you next time.